why don't you join me while I make some dioxoryonucleic acid, or DNA. I figured over years of cuts and bruises and splinters and whatnot, I've probably left enough DNA in my shop that they could identify me for another hundred years. So I figured it was time to make my own DNA, so I jumped over to the X-Carve and decided to shape out some cool DNA. Now I drew this out originally on some paper and used Corel to create the SVG. You know, in art they always say you gotta draw what you like. So, you know, I'm a science geek and I've always have been there. And you don't normally see science projects in wood, so I thought it would be cool to make a cool couple projects that were all geeky kind of science-based stuff. So, you know, I wanted to have this sort of as a freestanding structure, so I just got some uh, a pencil and started marking about a half an inch from the edges so I can stand it upright. I'll probably take that right over to the bandsaw and cut that down so I can have a little more control over it and, uh, and sand it up and I'm ready to go. So I drilled out a couple 3 16 holes and went ahead and put some dowels in there. Now I want to line it up so it's sort of centered and even, so my trick to doing that is I just actually hit the bottom of the dowel with some, you know, graphite, well, pencil, lead, graphite, and um, if you put it on there nice and thick, all you'll have to do is set it down and it'll actually make a little impression. Just using a bread point bit there to drill out the holes, uh, trying to make sure that they don't go too deep. Now that I know it fits in there, I can disassemble it and stain it, and then I will uh, glue it all together. Staining is pretty straightforward. The only trick that I can give you is after I stained it up, I wiped it down with that rag. Uh, now the base I was going to do in a Danish oil, but as I do that, it gives it a nice finish, but it isn't quite, sh you know, dark enough. So what I do is I use the rag that I've already wiped the, the darker stain off with and just slightly touched it. And it gives it just a little bit of color. It's not a full stain, but between the Danish oil and that, it just gives it a little bit of a pop of color. Um, so it's not so blonde against the dark wood. Then I'm just applying a little bit of CA glue in the dowels and again in the... Uh, and the recesses, the drilled out areas, and there we go, we're going to make the attachment. Now generally on the bottom I'd like to put something and what I use is this craft foam, it's sort of like a neoprene uh, craft foam and I just set that down right on the piece. I'll get my pencil here and just mark around it. And just hitting it with a little spray adhesive there so it'll attach good to the bottom. Just giving it a good coat there. And I want to thank you for watching. I, if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you do so. And there's the final DNA cool art display.